Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will explain how to pass data when we are using gets function in the context of GDB. Let's say, consider this sample program, right? There is a gets function which takes user input buffer. How do we uh, pass this buffer inside GDB? Okay, let's load it into GDB. First, let me compile. And ignore the warnings. Uh, we talked about how to exploit it in, in other segments. For now, ignore the warnings. Now I'll load this into GDB, right? Disassemble my main. You have this assembly code. That's not what I'm going to talk about now. I'm just going to run the program, right? The program is going to wait for my input. And if I give it three A's, it's going to echo. But what if I wanted to pipe my input within GDB? So that's that's my main goal. How do I pipe it? I just say run. I need to use two uh, less than symbol, yeah. And then I just say, for example, echo. Uh, let's say no new line, AA. The program output AA and stopped properly. If I feed with more A's, let me continue. Now it will crash, yeah, because we gave a lot of A's. Our buffer can only handle four A's. Okay. All right. So this is how you could give input to a program that is reading from user input, like, like gets, for example, is reading from the input stream. You can use uh, two uh, less than symbol, right? With the space. If you don't give the space, you get a lot of interesting error messages like this. You get an error message. And if you try with uh, one space, it should, it's, it should work, but it, you must have at least one space between these two things. Okay. So you can also write the data into a file and feed it. For example, I already have the data in my file T. I can, let me first clear the screen. I can run it with a cat command and, and pipe it like this. Right, I can call any command per se, right? Cat T. Uh, maybe I made a mistake. Yeah. Now you see here it works perfectly with calling the cat command. Like this. I can generate the file T outside of the GDB, of course. Let's say echo minus n e no new line uh, treat escape characters as special let's say i give three a's and then a hex a null and then bbb B, B. this should crash the program right let me write this to a file t and then gdb minus q uh, my gets demo function and i will just run it with cat t, it should crash. Yeah, you see, stack smashing directed because we crossed the boundary of the stack canary by uh, writing it with bbb and therefore it, it was directed. Anyway, you got the idea that you can very well generate a file uh, before starting your GDB session or within the GDB session, you can call any shell command as I have shown earlier. That's all, thank you very much for your attention.